Hey guys, TJ Ryan Gaming here, back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up fast in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So every year, uh, this is one of the top things everyone wants to know, and especially in this year, since it's one of the hardest Call of Duties ever to rank up in. So uh, I'm going to be walking you guys through how to do that. So uh, first things first, we want to, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the challenges. Now, um, the challenges are super easy to uh, complete. They, they, Treyarch has organized it um, very well. That they show you exactly what you need, um, whatever you're closest to. They show you the top three things you're closest to, and everything, guys. So they made that very easily. And Vondahar has even said on the race live stream uh, that it's that challenges are one of the main things that are going to help you rank up within this game, since this game is so hard to rank up in. So um, another thing that you need, that, uh, the main thing that people want, want to know is uh, the best game mode for this. And um, I'm going to name two game modes that are good but not perfect. And I'm going to name the perfect balanced one that I feel uh, ranks up the most. And um, uh, Domination is very good. Games run long, you can get a lot of kills, you can get a lot of captures. Uh, it's very good for getting a lot of XP. However, the games run very long. Whereas other games run shorter, and you, you can play more games and get more XP that way. So domination is very good. You get a lot of XP. Um, next game mode is search and destroy. Now you get 500 XP per kill for search and destroy, and that's very good. But within search and destroy, you're not uh, you're not getting uh, the challenges completed because you're not getting as many kills. You're not doing as much as you probably could be. So uh, that's why search, that's where search and destroy lacks. And uh, the main game mode that I feel is the best is well, what you're watching right now, Kill Confirmed. Kill Confirmed is perfectly balanced. Uh, it's shorter games. Well, it's a medium game. It's not, I wouldn't say super short. But there are shorter games. Uh, you get a ton of XP if you play it. Uh, if, you do a, if you do well, you get a ton of XP. And uh, the tags give you an extra 100 points. Now, uh, the only thing with Kill Confirmed is that uh, you need to focus on getting tags, because without the tags, you're only getting 50 XP per kill, which is kind of a waste. But if you fo focus on tags and uh, you're paying uh, and you're paying attention to getting those tags you're focusing on, you're going to be getting a lot of XP, about 50 XP extra per kill, which is perfect. Next thing that not many people actually think about is uh, actually your score streak picks and uh, score streaks. Uh, can uh, add a big amount of XP to your gameplay and uh, the way that is if you just run counter UAV and UAV you'll you'll they're two small kill streaks you get 10 points for everyone else on your team getting a kill so you call that in every time another teammate gets a kill you're getting 10 points with both of them combined you're getting 20 points per every other teammates kill so that's a lot of kills uh, for not that um, big, if not that hard to get, you're, ma you're basically making your teammates do all, uh, they're making your teammates upgrade your character for you. So it's a very easy way. It may not be as fun as, like, say, using Wraith or Mothership, but uh, it is going to get you a lot of XP. You'll rank up your character really fast. And I think that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vid video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Comment below if you found anything that can also help you, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.